Hi friends, this is Audi One and I present to you another video series on SQL injections. As the title suggests, it's a series from dummy to dummies. Starting with the statutory warning, this video series is for educational purposes only. Please do not use the skills gained from this series to harm or attack or even test others, other sites, etc. to which you don't have permissions. It is illegal to do so. If you get caught, and mind you, you would, then don't say that you didn't know that. You have been warned. So well, why did I think of making this SQL series? Many years back, when I started to understand the concepts related to SQL injections, I felt the need of a complete test bed where I could test what stupid ideas came to my mind confidently. There were a lot of web challenge sites, but all these challenges seemed to be simulated in one way or the other, thereby pushing me off track and confused me more rather than clearing my doubts. So the labs that you see are what I collected over time or what I made over time. Secondly, I could not find resources related to different types of SQL injections in one place. So I thought of putting them together. Well, the inspiration comes from security tubes mega primers. What we have in the labs? We have error-based SQL injections starting from string type to integers. Then we have error-based injections with single quotes, error-based injection with double quotes with some twist. Then we have double injections using dump file to dump the database. Then we have blind injections, boolean-based type, time-based type. And then we come to the post parameters. The same set of exercises repeats with the post, error based post, double injection post, then time based and boolean based post. And then we move on to the header injections. Injection in the username field, refer field, cookies. So let's proceed and just set up the test bed first. Open up your browser and go to github.com slash audi1 sqli hyphen labs and download the zip file. Let's save it on the desktop for now. Let's open up a terminal and just browse to the location. Unzip the contents. Let's rename it something appropriate. SQLI hyphen labs. Let's copy these labs to the Apache folder. You can even move. And let's start our services.
let's start our MySQL. All done. Let's browse to the location. Open the DB connections folder. Sorry, it's SQL connections. And open the dbcreds.inc file. This file contains the username and password for your MySQL connection string. Please adjust it according to your configuration. These are the default username and password for MySQL on Backtrack. Save this and let's browse. Local host slash sequely hyphen labs. You see the index page depicting the same screenshot that we saw on the slides. Let's first set up the database. Just click this link and you see everything has been set up for you. The database has been created, the new table, users, emails, user agents, refers has been injected or has been created and some data has been populated into it. All done. We are ready to just start with the exercises. Click on lesson one. As it says, please input ID as parameter with numeric value. Let's do so. We see the username and password on screen. Let's do ID equals two. We see a different user. ID equals three. We see a different user. So that means that when we are iterating on ID equals one, ID equals two, ID equals three, four, five, we see some something being retrieved from the database and projected on the page. Well, we will continue to explore this more in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you like it.